look. So today is look number four using the Vizzy Art Visart Dark Matte Palette. I around with using the greens in the palette, but then also throw in a purple, and it ended up just being sort of inspired by like Beetlejuice. <laughs> Not necessarily a super pretty look, but I did just sort of kind of want to play around with colors and placement. But yeah, something a little bit fun, and it makes me feel like a super evil villain. So <laughs> if you guys want to know how to do it, then just stay tuned, and here's the tutorial. Um, using this green right here, as well as this purple. And I'm using a little bit of the olive green as well. So those three shades are the ones that I'm going to be using in this look. And then for brushes, I'm using three, four-ish. Um, I'm using a fluffy brush to apply the green into the crease, as well as a little shader brush to apply color to the lid. Probably using a clean one to help blend out. I'm also using a big uh, clean brush as well to help blend. So first color I'm going to use is this olive green. I'm going to pick that up on my brush. This is going to go right into my crease. I'm also going to use that color to just blend upwards towards the brow bone. This is going to help diffuse the darker green that we put sort of on top. All right, next I'm going to go into the brighter green. This is the only color that I have some issues um, with blending out, which is why I wanted to put that one there. For some reason, this green, when you go to blend it out, it gets a little bit patchy. That's the only one in this palette that I've had an issue with so far. I'm just going to now work that color right on top and into the crease as well. Okay, so the next I'm going to go into the olive again. I'm going to take a tiny little shader brush. I'm going to pick up some of that olive color. This is going to get placed right onto the inner corner. So right sort of in that section of my eye. And in the first one third of the eye, I'm also going to take that and apply that just right on the outer little V of my eye as well. And then from there, I'm going to apply that purple color just right in the center um, between the two greens right there. Okay, so then that kind of creates sort of a halo eye, I don't know, first time trying it out, not sure how much I like it, but we'll just work it with it. <laughs> um, I'm also going to take that purple color and I'm going to apply that just underneath the lower lashes as well. And then I'm going to use a, a different fluffy brush in with a little bit of that olive green. And I'm just going to take that and blend out the purple on the bottom. That's one thing I love about this color so much is it really makes a makeup look look like grimy, gross. <laughs> um, I really like it, like that's just, I, I just do. And just to add a very slight bit of color, I'm gonna take just like the tiniest amount of purple, like barely anything, and I'm just gonna place it right there. And then I'm also gonna put that just right on the other side as well. And then from there, I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just sort of blend everything together. I just left my lashes natural. Uh, now, the mascara that I'm using does make them look a little spidery and clumpy, which I actually like with this look. So um, that's entirely up to you if you want to do sort of like chunky lashes or fake lashes, that kind of thing. But I'm going to go ahead and do that, come back and show you how I'm finishing up the rest of the face. So that's everything for the eye. It definitely makes me feel like I should be wearing a cape and like living in a castle. I don't know why. That's what this makeup look like. I don't wear green smoky eyes very often and I just feel like anytime I do I should be an evil villain. Um, okay, so then for contour I went back to using this color from the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. And I'm just d dusting my brush in that color just a little bit. Picking up some that looks so dark in comparison to my face. That's hilarious. That's so funny. Very lightly applying that as a contour. So for the rest of the face, I've decided to just stay like ghostly pale. So I'm not going to do blush and I'm not going to do highlight. Um, I want everything to stay matte. So moving on to lips, I am going to do a dark purple lip. This, this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number 15. Just a um, metallic dark purple. So this is what it looks like with the lips on. 
Really beautiful lip color, one of my favorites from Sephora. So that wraps up day four using the dark matte palette to come up with sort of a green, purple, Beetlejuice inspired smoky eye. Something a little bit different. I don't typically wear green smoky eyes. Also, I found that this green was the only one so far that I found doesn't have the same um, amazing, amazing quality as all the rest of them. It's just when it goes to blend out just on its own, it does get a little bit patchy. Um, that being said, it blends pretty much like a normal matte eyeshadow does. But like the other ones are just absolutely fantastic. So a um, little bit of a difference in texture with this one. But uh, leave any comments down below about what inspires you. I'd really love to hear it. So as usual, my videos go out Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So stay tuned for tomorrow. It's going to be my final look using this palette. And then my review will be up on Saturday. So hopefully everyone is doing good. And until my next video, I'll talk to all you soon.